Today in the edit room we're going to look at a flicker removal tool from Seed Digital Media called Seed D Flicker. It's $29 and you can download it from their website at yourseedmedia.com. So I have a time lapse here of some mountains I shot. Uh, by the way, if you um, use your iPhone to shoot in the cold, it will only last an hour in 20 degrees. I learned that by experience. Um, so here we have some uh, flicker happening because I had my, I actually had my iPhone connected to my camera and it was taking a shot every five seconds. So my DSLR was shooting and every time it took a shot, it was creating, um, you know, based on my aperture setting, from what I've learned is that the aperture setting has to realign to the setting I have for every photo. So every photo looks good, except that it's just slightly off. And when you put all the photos together, it creates a flicker. Now, I know on this uh, screen recording, you can't really see the flicker. In fact, let me do Command-6 to apply my exposure, and I'll just drop the exposure here. And so hopefully you'll be able to see that flicker happening. So for a media producer, it annoys me. So let me just reset that. And I have this CD flicker effect here, and I'll just drag it. Oh, actually, before I drag it on, uh, you have to create a compound clip. That's just how it works. We'll do Option G. Hit OK. Now I have my compound clip, and I'll just drag on the filter. And so hopefully you'll be able to see that it works pretty well. Now. This is a time-lapse shot, but it'll work really well for different lighting sources, LED lighting or TV lighting that's creating flickers in the background. And just to kind of illustrate the point, let me go back out of this here and I'll apply a mask. I'll add a shape mask. And I'm going to just make it half of the screen. So I'll move it over here, make it a little bigger. Okay, so now you'll be able to see the flicker happening on this side, but not so much on this side. And right here is the line. I'm hoping you can see this on the screen recording, but I'm really happy overall with these results. It works really well for time-lapse footage, and I can't wait to try it out for other lighting flickering problems, especially high frame rate. So overall, I give this a thumbs up. If you want to learn more, visit johnblue.com. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time in the edit room.